Malaysia mourns the loss of all 298 passengers and crew. We feel for their families and we promise to do all we can to ensure that the investigation is completed and justice is done. On an investigation, Malaysia is deeply concerned that the crash site has not been properly secured. The integrity of the site has been compromised and there are indications that vital evidence has not been preserved in place. Interfering with the scene of the crash risks undermining the investigation itself. Any action that prevents us from learning the truth about what happened to MH17 cannot be tolerated. Failure to stop such interference would be a betrayal of the lives that we lost. Malaysia calls for all parties to protect the integrity of the crash site and to allow the investigation to proceed. We urge all those involved to respect the families and the nations who have lost their sons and daughters in this attack. Yes, MH17 has become a geopolitical issue. But we must not forget that it is a human tragedy. Since the plane went down, the remains of 298 people lie uncovered. Citizens of 11 nations, none of whom are involved in the conflicts in eastern Ukraine, cannot be laid to rest. Their lives were taken by violence. Now violence stopped them being accorded their final respect. This cannot continue. Yeah, Malaysian Prime Minister Dr. Sri Mohammad Najib take a proactive action to ensure that we can recover the human bodies as soon as possible. This is a tragedy for us and we are taking a lot of actions to ensure that uh, we can recover uh, the human remains. So my Prime Ministers have contacted many leaders over these two days including uh, Ukraine Prime President and uh, as I said, uh, Mr. Putin. And most important in, in the conversation, we have uh, emphasized that uh, we are appealing to the world to ensure that uh, we have a safe path to enter the accident site. We wanted to retrieve the human uh, remains as soon as possible. It is very critical. It's very, uh, it must be done immediately. So, uh, the clear passage for our people, our team to move in, and we, there's a reason why. And uh, my prime minister also called uh, Mr. Ban Ki Moon. Uh, we call David Cameron. Uh, call many world leaders to give the assistance so that we can actually have a clear path, a safe site uh, to enter the, the accident zone.